short little video about timber floors. Um, this is where a survey that we're doing at the moment and we've found very subtle clues. You can see these rust marks to the heads of some of the nails and as you move around the floor you can see there's another one there and rusty marks. So what we did here was to poke a hole originally through the floor. We just had a little tiny prodder and we were able to get through the floor here with the uh, hygrometer probe. Um, and the result is this and we've got 97% relative humidity uh, getting on for 14 grams of water. That's ridiculously high and at those sorts of levels it is, according to BS7913, um, the, the British standard, you will get beetle because it is just too damp in there. Um, there is a high moisture content. And I'm just going to show you that's exactly what we have got. And if you look here, you can see I've got the bottom of that piece of timber and it's all soft and frassed. There we go. And here's one I cooked a little bit earlier. A piece of timber just completely eaten away by beetle. So not very pretty. So we've got a right mess under the floor here. Now the bottom line is what do you do with it? Okay. Very simple, you ventilate it. We've got to get air under this floor. There's no point in spraying it or treating it because you can't get to anything anyway. And again, according to BS 7913, the new standards, um, chemical treatment is a waste of time. The best way to treat timber is to dry it out. Forget the Wally Damp Man and the Property Care Association uh, spraying your timbers as we come across all the time you do not need to spray timbers and that is very well documented now um, in Brian Ridout who's the leading timber decay expert in the country um, and his recommendations are that if you find any of this sort of thing you've got beetle um, slight damp wet rot all you've got to do is drive a timber out and you do not need property care association timber treatment what you need is to get air to a subfloor so that's what we're going to do we're looking at this now and we're trying to find a way of actually ventilating it because so far as i can see this floor has no ventilation we've been outside and we've looked um and we'll have another look but i don't think there is any ventilation here at all this is a a lovely old house We've actually got more timber decay here. We've got that floor covered in rubber matting and a bit of cement and it's forcing moisture into the skirting boards. And you'll notice ground levels are too high. The ground levels here are the same height. And if we go outside we'll have a quick look and I'll show you these ground levels they are that's that outside ground level there and this is the outside ground level here and in fact the the paving slabs are probably higher than the internal wall and you can see that there's absolutely no ventilation at all so we've got a problem here we've got to work out how to ventilate this uh, this floor so we'll come back on that one in a minute so there you go